Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 3 Portable. So, you all can probably tell by my voice, um, I'm sick. <laughs> so, you know, working with a sick condition is not always the best idea, but I'm still to do it. Because <laughs> I'm stubborn. Oh my god. There we go. You received a text message. It's from Akihiko. Fuka's being released from the hospital. We'll talk to her this evening. Come to the command room as soon as you get back. Class is ended for today. Hey, are you on your way home? Seems Junpei wants to walk with you back to the dorm. Oh, really? Let's stop by somewhere. Soggy fries are indeed the best fries. The dormitory command room. The chairman and Fuka are sitting along with the others. The color has returned to Fuka's face since her ordeal. You're Fuka Yamagishi, right? Yes. <laughs> Relax. There's no need to be nervous. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, thank you. Everyone, you did an excellent job uncovering the truth. I also wanted to let you know the three girls have all regained consciousness. What a relief. From what I understand, they each came to school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. They were attacked by shadows near the gate as the dark hour began. However, the facts became twisted because of rumors concerning a ghost story. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. Are you kidding? You were the victim. But I made so many people worry. Hey, don't think like that. We could have lost that fight if you weren't there. You saved our lives. You should feel good about yourself. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. You could be a tremendous help to us. Will you lend us your strength? Are you asking me to join you? That's correct. Mitsura Senpai. I think you'd make a good addition to the team too. Akihiko Senpai. You know, we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it... I'll do it. I'll help you. Are you sure? If you join, you'll have to live here. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay, really. I mean, it'll be nice to have two other girls in my grade around, too. Let's be friends. Huh? Uh, thanks. If there's ever anything you don't understand, feel free to ask us. Now then, those special shadows showed up again. We still don't know where they're coming from, but Akihiko is right about one thing. Their appearances seem to coincide with the full moon. We'll take that into consideration from now on. So they're kind of like werewolves then, huh? It's a big advantage for us to know when to expect them. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring. <sighs> the Seas team has deduced the pattern 
the appearance of the gigantic, gigantic shadows. Could this be what the boy who keeps appearing before you was talking about? It seems you need to be wary of the coming of the full moon from now on. It seems like Fuko is forced to join us, even though in the end it was her choice. I don't feel good about this. Dude, she's the exact opposite of Yukatan. Smart, nice, great, a new type. Don't look at me like that. When you glare at me, it gives me chills down to the bone. Even though it's almost summer. We achieved new powers and learned new information about shadows. Today was a great day for all of us. Hmm? Oh, I asked Mitsuru and Akihiko to walk Fuka home. She shouldn't be walking home alone. Fair enough. Oh. I should probably say it. Spooky. What do you think about Puka? She's very helpful. You think so? I mean, yeah, her persona is ability is, like, is great and all, but doesn't it seem like she was forced into joining us? I hope she'll be okay. Gakukan High School Classroom 2 -E. Hey, did you hear? Ikoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but it must be serious. Sexual harassment, maybe. Oh, I can totally see that! Um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look. It's the ghost girl. Quiet! She could hear you! Fuka, you in here? Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yeah. You seem so depressed. Let me know if you need someone to talk to. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Oh, come on. Just call me Natsuki. Thank you. It's finally time for lunch. What's wrong? <laughs> what do you mean? I'll see you later then. Maybe you should go have your practice after school. Okay, I love being sick. It's so much fun. Oh, uh, hey. Yeah, it's club time. Let's go. Let's do this. Can you see someone You want us to start practicing the inner service next? Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Jeez, you haven't been concentrating at all, Rio. Uh huh? So sorry. I'm not getting anything done like this. I mean, if you're not gonna act like nor your normal self, this might be the worst club at the school. Like his talking. Come on, don't fight. I'm not fighting, you dope. Pay attention. It's because of Kenji, isn't it? You, have you haven't gotten over him. Yeah, she's right, come on. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? It's gotta be better than moving around. You mean, I should go tell him that I like them? Rio glances towards you, confused. <clears throat> this is your decision. My decision. Rio matters to himself. I... I feel like I'm stuck in one place. 
and I can't move an inch. I hate that about myself too. But I don't know what to think about. I know that I'm going to be hurt and it scares me. It has to be better than where I am right now. I'm sure it won't be as bad as drowning in these feelings I have. I'm gonna go tell it. That's the spirit. Yeah, I'll do my best. He smiles. Well then, I'll be back. Huh? You're going right now? We are guards off. The club members stand around looking at each other. I, I'm here for the club's uh, pending forms, but what's the matter? You told Yukio about the recent turn of events. Seriously? You think she'll be okay? Let's go see how she's doing. Right. You all leave to the gym and go find the girl. So, what, what do you think about me? Ryo and Kenji are talking to each other in the hall. We all decide to watch from behind the door. Uh, like family? Do you like me? Huh? Y yeah? That guy's helpless. Hang in there, Rio. How, how much do you like me? Uh, about as much as ramen? Ramen, are you serious? Yuko jumps out from behind the door. Whoa, whoa. what the? You've got some nerve, Kenji. Huh? What the hell are you telling her? I'm going to smack that goofy look off your face. <laughs> uh, I've got some business to take care of, ladies. Kenji runs away. Seriously? That moron. You, you guys, you were listening? Uh, sorry, we were all worried about you. Try to cheer up. But sheesh, what the hell was that idiot thinking, comparing you to something like a bowl of noodles? No, you don't get it. Ramen is the favorite, his most favorite thing in the world. No kidding? If he likes me as much as ramen, I'll be happy. Jeez, you dope. Huh? Why do you look like you're about to cry, Yuko? I don't know. Spooky. Thanks for giving me the extra push I needed. Rio laughs and she looks as much better now. It seems we were able to support Rio. Well, why don't we call today's practice over and go to what? Sounds like a plan. I'll tell you what, Rio. I'm buying you a meal shake. <laughs> awesome. You and the other volleyball club enjoyed a meal at Wild Duck Parker, but then you returned to the dorm. Sup, dude? I'm getting Fuka's room ready on the third floor. No guys allowed. It's cool though. I'm just glad she's coming. She'll be here tomorrow, you know? Yatsuru and Yukari are on the third floor getting Fuka's room ready for her. They're cleaning it up. You know, dusting and mopping. They said they call us if any cockroaches that need to be killed. Thank you, Aki. Oh. How reliable. Studies past. Always there. Your room. You sense someone's presence. You've prevailed yet again. Do you remember what I said before? About everything coming to an end? Well, I recalled something else. I'm fairly sure that the end is inevitable, but it's funny. 
It doesn't seem so certain considering the vast potential within you. As a matter of fact, your power seems to have changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm very curious about you. Is that okay? Aren't we friends already? <laughs> You're right. I didn't really need to bring it up, did I? After all, I've been with you from the beginning. My name is Pharos. You may call me that if you wish. You feel a faint bond with the mysterious boy named Pharos. getting late, so I'll go now. I'm already looking forward to our next meeting. Bye-bye! Ferris disappeared. Good morning, V. Yamagishi will be living in the dorm with us, and starting tonight should be providing us support during battle. So now I can rejoin the front line. Good. You're reliable. Yes, you can depend on me. Even though I'm a bit out of practice, I will soon return to my prior form. Class is ended for today. That is the best possible outcome. <laughs> Your cell phone is ringing. Hello, this is Theodore. I sense intense power deep within Tartarus. It seems a path that was blocked is now open. Please be careful. Have a nice day. The call ended. Hi, how is your day? Um, since I'll be substituting for Mitsuru Senpai from now on, just tell me whenever you're ready to go to Car Tartarus. I'll do my best. I think I will. I think Tartarus is a little unstable today. Accidents may be more frequent because of this. Watch out. Okay, I'll tell the others. We'll be waiting at Tartarus around midnight. See you there. Okay, everyone, um, I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm feeling kind of like shit, so. <laughs> From now on, Yamagishi will support us, and, and I'll take part in the exploration. I've also decided that I'll allow you to select the members of your battle party. I realize that this is a big responsibility, but I believe you can handle it. Um... I'll be taking Mitsuru Senpai's place from now on. Alright. So with that everyone, I'm I'm ending it here. I hope you all enjoyed the video, albeit it was like short. <laughs> Not much happened. But yeah, I'll try to record more next time, whenever that is. Until then, everyone, I will see you all again soon. Bye.